Hello everyone and welcome to the Autocraft SMP. This is a server where I play alongside my content creator friends with the objective of building the most beautiful world together. On the last episode we built... We... We... We built... Um, I actually can't remember right now, but that's not going to stop us from doing what we gotta do, because today we will be finally building the Nether Hub. I know, it's been a long time coming, but now we are finally ready. We have a temporary storage room over here where our good friend Rustic Dragon has already collected a bunch of materials for us, mostly glass that we will need to dye of different colors and emeralds. However, we can't start building yet, because even if we are in a warp forest, gas can spawn over there and shoot at us. So, before anything, we need to build a giant wall around the perimeter, and that wall will be made out of black concrete. This is the amount of concrete that we are going to need. We are in our storage room, by the way. I worked on this at some point that I can't remember, and I don't know if I've shown this. But yes, we need a bunch of black concrete. We have a few sacks, but that's not near enough. We still need 8 shulker boxes complete, which translates into 4 shulkers of gravel and 4 of sand. So I traveled back to some stony shores near Starter Town and destroyed them to start filling the four shulkers of gravel that we needed. And then I did the same in the desert to get the sand. Combining that with the black dyes obtained from laces with the roses, I managed to get all the stacks of black concrete powder that I needed. If it was another world build, I would just convert the powder to concrete as we go. But since it's in the nether, we can't do that because there's no water. So I asked Green for help and he let me use his concrete machine which I almost broke, but Kring doesn't have to know that. With all the concrete in hand, I head back to the nether to build up those walls, and here you are seeing me building them. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the black concrete walls are ready. The bad news is that they are not blast resistant as I thought. Yep, as you can see we have a few holes there, which means we will have to build the second wall to protect them. And to keep it simple, we'll do a cobblestone wall. So, I'm thinking a stone generator might be the way to go here to collect all that stone pretty quickly, but first, I will need a beacon for that. So, I went to the nearest nether fortress and with the help of Rusty and Kring, I managed to get the three skulls that I needed to kill the wither and craft a beacon. I spent my diamonds at Tom's iron shop to get all the iron blocks we were going to need, and headed back to my industrial area where I set up a small zone behind my garage for the beacon and the stone generator. After a couple hours mining there, I got more than four shulkers of cobblestone that I could finally use to build the protective wall. Now that the cobblestone walls are protecting the build from the side where gas can spawn, ouch, we can get back to building the actual nether hub, for which I will need a lot of quartz, like really a lot, and I think the best way will be with mason villagers. So let's grab some of the gold that I have, which is less than I thought. Do I have any ores? Yes, good. Let's break this with fortune. And while that melts, let's get a bunch of sticks and use some iron to craft regular rails and the gold to craft power rails. So with that, we will be able to bring some villagers over for a trading hall. That sounds like a perfect plan to me, nothing can go wrong. If I remember correctly, there's a village nearby and there you are. Now, how do I do this? Sir, come with me into the cart. That's disappointing. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back quickly. No, uh, uh, go in. Surprisingly, that worked. I might be better at this than I thought. Spoilers, I'm not. I spent an embarrassingly long amount of time getting two more villagers in carts using workstations and any other trick that I could think of. Please, will you get into the cart, sir? Yes! And then I spent double the amount of time moving them back to my area using not enough rails to get them safely through rivers, mountains and forests. Alright, we are almost there my friends. Let's see, get you now. Oof, okay, okay, we are good, we are good. This is so precarious, but it works. Okay, goodbye. They are safe and sound with the LAs and trapped. That wasn't that bad, I don't know why I was so scared. Here's a list of the things that we will be needing for the following part. Wheat and beds. And I bet you already know what this is for, right? I collected 90 wheat from my crops farm which I used to create 30 bread. Then I placed down 10 beds. And with that, the villagers can begin making the babies. 
Now that we have our babies all grown up, we require something to trade for emeralds, and I was thinking I could make some farmers to trade for melons and pumpkins. I believe I found the perfect spot to build a farm, there's this sort of empty natural cavity over here that would be perfect to build without having to dig much really. Oh, never mind, it's not empty, there's a chicken in it, I'll leave her home intact. Instead, I chose the spot behind my crop farm to build an automatic melon and pumpkin farm, which is one of the few farms that I know how to do from memory. So with that, and the collection system working properly, I spent some time leveling my villagers and moving them to a new area where I created a blue house to act as a trading hall that I attached right next to my storage room. That way, I can hear them come around while I sort my stuff. No, nope, I did not think that through. As you can probably tell by all my levels and the decorations done in the trading hall, lots of time went by trading with villagers. A week. I spent a whole week just trading and curing them. But now we are almost ready. Here, next to the beacon, I had to also build an auto smelter to get all these shulkers of smooth quartz, and as you can see, there's still some cooking. Also back here, we have lots of other color-coded boxes. These mostly have all the dyed glass that we are going to need, plus some extra things like redstone blocks or concrete. The flower farms and Kring's concrete machine were super useful for this, I'm just glad that I didn't break it before. But anyways, now we just need to bring everything over to the nether. Take a look at this, every material for the build is sorted and color-coded, that's such a beautiful view after all this time. What's not a beautiful view though is this area over here, but not for long, say goodbye to it because it's time to transform it into a proper sci-fi netherhub. Let's go! The nether hub is done, and if you ask me, it's looking fantastic. As you probably saw in the time lapse, I went for a sci fi style of build with lots of glass, lighting, and reflective effects. The gates remind me of circuits with the white parts being the electricity running through. Of course, we have the tunnels done as well, those were built and designed by Rusty, and he did an amazing show, it totally fits the theme, and I love them. But yeah, to me, this whole nether hub feels like the interior of a computer from where we connect to the different parts of the world. That was the idea at least. And I have a name for this build, I like to call it the Syntax or Syntaxis, I can go with any of those, let me know if you prefer one over the other. I am very, very happy that the Nether Hub is finally done, it took a lot of time from planning and designing and creative to the resource collection and building in survival, it's huge, it's probably the biggest project I have tackled in survival so far, and I am very happy with it. But because one mega project wasn't enough for me, I'm now in the gaming district where I have begun the work on a game. So far we only have the layout of the map, and down here we have some signs of key concepts and instructions for myself. I was going to skip directly until we play the game, but let me actually explain a bit while I show you some of the redstone behind it first. Because it's actually very simple, I'm no redstone genius or anything, so I didn't want to keep this as a secret. The game consists of two teams, so that's why, as you could probably see, the map is symmetrical from one side to the other. We have a headquarter for each team on each side, with a redstone lamp displayed so the players can visualize the time inside the game. That is all controlled by this ethohopper clock down here, so they are both synchronized. 
Here we have the white line for when the game is on and the black line for when the game is off. The white line goes all around the map and connects to the different dispensers that will drop miscellaneous items for the game. And then back here we have these ones under the yellow line, which is like a treasure room and will drop more important items for the game. These ones are attached to a set of three randomizers, so every tick of the clock we draw either a stick or a boat from this, and depending on that one or two length output, we created conditions for the dispenser to throw or not throw an item. And they are all exclusive, meaning that only one system will trigger every time between the dispensers and these doors that will grant an easier access or way out of the treasure room. And the good thing of having the system in this way is that I can very easily customize the probabilities of each event happening by modifying the amount of votes or sticks inside each randomizer. And then we also have these purple and blue lines. These are also doors that block different passages, but these are controlled with buttons from the different headquarters. So as a player, you can interact with the map and make it harder for someone to escape or reach you by closing certain doors. And one last thing before moving on is that I'm working on custom sounds for the game. So let's simulate that the game is running. We can see that all the lamps turn on on both sides. And now when they all go off, we will hear this. Everyone please stand still. The game has finished and killing is no longer allowed. Now head to the nearest exit with the head of your choosing on. Thank you. <laughs> That's the sound for when the game ends. I absolutely love it. I want the mood inside the game to be very dark and eerie and when it's finished have all the lights turn on and have this lady speak to you with this neutral and nerving tone but we'll see how it goes because now we actually have to build this. Alright so here we have the game done. I went for this kinda old building or abandoned factory style, it's missing some details to put the idea together but it serves the purpose of hiding the game inside. And that's what matters right now because we are about to do the first test run with some other autocrafters. We are just about to play, so here are the rules for fishy business. Pause if you need to read them, and if not, let's move on. Don't forget to set your spawn. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I and love her as well. Her. Okay, are we ready? Everyone set the spawn, grab the items. Yep. Remember that you can leave a sword if you want, you can leave food, whatever. And we're starting. Everyone, the game is about to begin, so head over to the entrance. And remember, you can only kill with a fish head on. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Um, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, this is a cool oh, room. I do not like this terrifying sound. What team? What team are you? Um, I don't, I don't know that I can tell you. And you don't want to tell me? Well, I don't, I don't know if I can trust you. No! <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, no, 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 no! No! <laughs> no! Are we allowed to fight back? You are yes, allowed to fight back. back. Yes, 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 you are. You. Drink is also salmon. Hey, drink is. I'm here, Kree. Oh, this is spooky. Whoa. Thank you. Drink is better at PvP than me. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Murder, murder. Okay, Crink is caught. Crink is caught. Murder, Crink. <laughs> Whoa, Calvin, buddy, buddy, buddy. We did. Buddy, I don't think you want to do this. Why not? I am. I don't I know. Think oh, hi, you Alvin. might want to. I think you might want to. <laughs> I'll play your salmon as well. Yes. Leave yeah, me. I'm salmon. I have a diamond here. Where is Crink? <laughs> He's so sneaky. No, wait. <laughs> Oh, you are god as well. No. Yeah. Oh, the tropical. Oh, the tropical is in game. The tropical is in game. I'm out. Ah. Ah, why? No, no. Go away, Rusty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? What are you? Sorry? Oh, you are god. Ah. Rusty, oh, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Yeah, you must have picked up. 
Sprint. Okay, 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 sprint. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, he's just... Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay I have the, we have the three hotels, so we just no! need to not die. Oh, what's the best strategy here? What's the best strategy? Just go! Just go! That's a strategy! Just go! They don't have to kill us because they don't have a head. They don't have a head. No, no, they can't kill us because we are fish. They cannot Oh, you can always kill a fish. Right. Oh, we have heads. Yeah. Oh, but just anywhere around here? Yes, yes. They're all they're all over there. They're all over there. So we need five heads on me when they killed me. Booms. So we need to also Oh that's awesome. Hey Alvin! I'm fighting Shashik. Arthur head! Mm. Oh, oh no! Oh. I killed no. Rick! No, no Rossi! I grabbed the head, I grabbed the head. Nope. Rossi, you traitor! Oh, I'm out. I didn't put the head out. I forgot to set this one. Rossi, did you have my head? I don't want to play anymore! What's going on? Do you have a head? 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 I don't have a head. Let's go, let's go together and try to murder him. Either we have to murder okay. Shashik. I think Shashik has a head. Let's go together. That's our best shot. We have nothing. I got a bow. <laughs> Don't do Are we no, allowed no, no, to break no, no. this? Yes, we have we can break this. <laughs> no, don't do that to me. Ow. Uh, at the moment I don't have a team, so I don't No, we need I don't think anybody I don't Shashik think is, on Shashik has team. everything. I have everything on me. Oh, and I know exactly where Shashik is. I Hi there. I may or may not be part of the team. Okay, this is a problem. So, I what's, messed with what's my control. the deal? Put your head up there. My head? Let's go with the head. Shashik. If you give me a head, I no. can join the team. <laughs> Bye, Rusty. <laughs> oh, no. You will have to die. Head. Thank you. Let's go to the headquarters. I have stuff. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so what? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What head are you wearing? I did not mean to hit him. I have Hi. no head. You have I no do head. not mean to hit him. And you can't attack anyone. Okay, so is it just... Is it just Sherb, then, that we... I mean, I don't know who has the other team. Wait. Who has the, the code heads? We have the salmon. Well. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Crink, oh, crink is the card. Crink is. Oh, no. is... oh, oh, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. In all fairness, I didn't mean to put that hat yes. on, but I guess this is the team I'm on now. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, get the stuff, get the stuff. Crink, crink is also a card. Crink is we also can... a card. Okay, I can't recruit Alpen, Alpen, Alpen. I mean, Alpen. currently I'm nothing. I can hear you. Yeah, I'm currently nothing. Okay, come here, Crink. We can. Hard. We have one extra head. We can recruit someone. Let's recruit Hi. Sherber. Hi. I have good stuff. I, I just don't Hi. have head. Did you have good have stuff? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, armor. Can I have the head? I accidentally no, I joined a team that I didn't want to join in, and I was like, well, I guess I'm giving this. I don't know who got the cold head. Oh. I don't have anything. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, too. Yeah, let's place it. To, at least time is about to end, so let's place. Here, all the heads. I think we should be about to win. Unless someone has the the the, the... do you have the tropical head? No, 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 Who's no, got no, the no, tropical no. head? Who's got the tropical head? Server. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I do, okay. I do. Okay, okay, keep that Sorry. safe. No, 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 don't place it. Oh. Everyone, the game is over. The game is over. Ah. The game has finished and killing is no longer allowed. Now head to the nearest exit with the head of your choosing on. Thank okay, so you. this is the time to put I choose this one. <laughs> okay, oh. let's go to the exit, yeah. Alright. Okay, how did everybody feel? Who's missing? Sorry. I was so Me. confused, but I had a great oh. time. Yeah, well, that was fun, <laughs> but what happened? It was fun. <laughs> that was fun! Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Fishy business is not perfect, but it was so much fun. Everyone enjoyed it. I really had the best time putting it together. And I got to play with a lot of people on the server. I honestly haven't been on too much lately. And I wanted something to play together because I really miss my friends. I, I miss them. I miss my friends. I miss... I miss my friend. What have I done? Oh no. That's the house I saw in my dream. Something's different though. Stay here, Poyapa. It, it might be dangerous. That thing up there. Poyapa. I need to get to the end of this. Here we are. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Let's go. I know you're here. Hello? I found your home and your door. Please help me save Poyapa. What, what does this all mean? Where are you? Oh! Oh. Okay. 
This is... I'm back. What? How? Wait, no, there she is. Miss Lady, hey, hey, hello. You finally found me. How, how you are here and... That was me when I was happier. Magical creatures, aren't they? There's something special in the bond we created. <laughs> Boya is a special, yeah. But he's sick I and know. I... That's why you are here. I'm sorry, but there's nothing to cure. What? But then, when did, why did you appear every time? I thought you had an answer. Your friend. Just like mine. They don't belong here with us. Not for long. But... Stop blaming yourself for breaking the egg. You were meant to hatch him, but now he must go. He can't. I don't want to. That's why she brought you here. That's why I'm still here. I couldn't let go, Calvin. I found the way to keep my friend alive. So you can still do something. You can help Boyapa. Until it's time, I can take care of him. Make you forget. Will it hurt? Not anymore. On the last episode, we built... We... We... We built... Um, I actually can't remember right now, but that's not going to stop us from doing more. If I remember correctly, there's a village nearby. The other half is done, and if you ask me, it's looking fantastic. As you throw this the time, what's the Just go! Just go! That's a strategy! Just I really go. miss my friends. I, I miss them. I miss my friends. I miss... I miss my friends. What have I done? Oh no. Come, Poyapa, just hang on. Poyapa! Poyapa! He's not here. Come on, why, why doesn't this work? She took him, but where? Thing, Calvin, thing. Of course. My first vision, it all started in the end. Now, where are you hiding? It can't be far. It can't be. Shoot, my rockets! What is she hiding you? Poyapa? No, go, go away! Can you hear me, Poyapa? Where is she hiding you? I will find it, just hang on. I need to make it. What is that? Hello, Calvin. I didn't want you to see us this way. Miss Lady, where's Poyapa? I want him back. He is safe. But you need to understand, I got to keep my friend alive. And as a consequence, we merged, merged together. together. She's been She's trapped been within trapped me for centuries, Calvin. For centuries. Is that what you want? I, I don't. I, I, I just want to see him again. He's my friend. What will you do with him? I don't know. Just give him back. All right. I warned you. You can have him back. Just don't make the same mistakes I made. Okay, what an adventure. Right, Poyapa? <laughs> Look at you digging the seeds already. Good job. Sorry for... Well... Let's get you back home. And we are back to your cozy place. I, I know it's a small. I did have plans to make it beautiful, somewhere nicer for you to live. But, you know, things happened. <laughs> yep, yep. We are together now and that's what matters. Yeah, it feels very lonely here now without the sniffers. I wanted to turn this place into a sanctuary with a lot of vegetation to commemorate everyone, but you're right. You know what? I have time to make that. Yeah, we can make this place nicer for you. Wait here, let me just go get some materials. Don't 
it's gonna take to be counting stars again. Look, boy, up, look. It's coming along nicely, huh? I think we can add some. What? Already? But, but I haven't even finished! You didn't get to see the final result. No, it's too soon. I can't. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Let's do it. And that's how this story ends. My idea for this season was to play with a simple down-to-earth concept for the story, but telling it in a more complex way. And I think that to some extent I managed to achieve that goal. I am beyond happy on how this turned out, and I really hope that you enjoy the journey with me. While I leave my stuff in the sanctuary under this tree, let me give a special thanks to the one Ashpash for putting this skin together, plus all the artwork for it, it's absolutely amazing, and also to Chico Tofu for letting me use his beautiful song for the ending part on the bridge. And with that, we are almost finished with season 4 of Autocraft. The only thing left to do is to say thank you so much for watching. This has been Calvin, and I will see you in the next one. Yes, in season 5. Goodbye.